Rod Stewart has insisted he'll keep singing his popular S.H.ing songs, despite being 77 years old. The legendary crooner is one of the UK's most successful stars, but said there was a moment during his career when he wondered if it was still appropriate to be belting out hot legs. Speaking about the saucy song, whose lyrics include, You can love me tonight if you want, you're still in school and bring your mother too, Rod said, I went through a brief period of thinking I'm not going to sing hot legs because it is a S.H.ing song. But what do I finish with? Hot legs. And people love it. There is nothing I feel uncomfortable singing. Sir Rod's new UK tour starts on Wednesday, however The Rock admitted his gigs were much tamer when he was younger. It was all S.H.ing and drinking, but you can't carry on like that, he told the Radio Times. I haven't joined the Pipe and Slippers Club yet, but I have to look after my voice. Rod is due to perform Hot Legs during his tour which kicks off in Nottingham. The Faces frontman has added four extra concerts at the O2 in London on November 25th, P&J Live in Aberdeen on December 2nd, Avo Hydro in Glasgow on December 3rd, and Utilta Arena in Birmingham on December 10th due to increased demand. Following the success of his previous sold-out tours, Rod's 2022 shows promise to be filled with shows topping classics and new hits in his unmissable captivating style, promoters promised. It seems like everyone wants a piece of the Scott, but the star revealed he snubbed a lucrative offer to perform in Qatar over its human rights record. The rocker entered into the debate over the World Cup being hosted in the Gulf country, where homosexuality is illegal and can be punishable by death. Sir Rod subsequently warned any gay fans planning to travel to the country to be wary. He told the Sunday Times, I was actually offered a lot of money, over $1 million, to play there 15 months ago. I turned it down. It's not right to go. The singer's stance is in stark contrast to a host of British stars, who have agreed to perform ahead of the controversial tournament. Robbie Williams, 48, will play at the Doha Golf Club on December 8, 10 days before the World Cup final, as part of the Qatar Live series of concerts. Paul O'Grady has slammed the singer for accepting the role, saying, I'm surprised at Robbie. There'll be a backlash by the LGBTQ community if he does perform. No amount of money would get me there.